Hey y'all, welcome to Pratt Made That. Today we're working on the two-stage shop vac dust collection system using a 20-gallon trash can and some two-inch PVC. Let's get to it. So the first thing I'm doing is marking and cutting the holes for the inlet and outlet. I'm using a 3D printed inlet and outlet that I found on Thingiverse for a rigid shop vac using a 5 gallon bucket. Because I'm using a 20 gallon trash can, off camera I went ahead and used a heat gun to expand the radius of the inlet piece. Then obviously because it's not perfect, I'm using silicone on the seams to help close up any extra gaps and minimize inefficiency. To get a nice seal between the lid and the trash can, I'm using a half inch foam window seal and adhering it to the lid using some spray adhesive Loctite. To prevent the trash can from collapsing, I'm using some half inch plywood to make some ribs for inside. I think it's about that time we do the little dust test. I've been doing a few and it's looking promising. So check this out. There's all the dust. This is awesome. I think one of the big benefits to this, number one, it's a 20 gallon bucket instead of a five. So I won't have to empty it nearly as often. We and we'll also see how full the bucket can get before the cyclone no longer works and it just starts sucking the dust out of the trash can. Now that the collection system is complete, I'm gonna start running all the plumbing to the various tools. I'm going to be using two inch PVC for most of it and then two and a half inch flexible hose. The blast gates and hose clamps were also purchased on Amazon and I'll include links to those items in the description below. The blast gate box is by no means an original idea but I did make some modifications to improve efficiency. So if you're interested in that build, I've included the link to the video below. One thing to keep in mind is the two inch PVC does not fit in the two inch blast gates that I purchased, but that can easily be rectified by heating up the PVC with a heat gun and then molding it to fit into the hole of the blast gate. Here I'm making some wooden clamps to hold the PVC to the wall. 
For areas that the clamp goes over a fitting, I used a three inch hole saw and then stuck a piece of foam on the inside. For areas where I was going over the PVC pipe itself, I used a two and a half inch hole saw and then added foam on the inside. That about wraps it up for this build. I'm super happy with how it all turned out. Every port uh, once open seemed pretty efficient. So we'll see how it goes in the long run. You guys might be asking, well, how do you turn this thing on? Uh, it's very simple. You use the little remote control switches that you can get during the holidays or on Amazon. And I can control it from anywhere in the shop. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.